Hello Internet, uh, this is a build video for my Nook uh, i5 or 5i7 that I just bought and demoed a little while ago. Uh, I just want to show you a quick feature here where the lid comes off. It's actually pretty easy, there's little two tabs here on the back. You just pull up with your fingernails and then slowly unsnap it around. I don't quite know how to take the top off, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, but something I'll work on later. So popping it back on. <coughs> clips on very nice so on the bottom we have uh, these four feet and they have screwdrivers underneath them so I took the time to go ahead and just unscrew them slightly with my screwdriver so now I'm just uh, opening them up real quick you have to be careful though because the feet spin freely so you might just be spinning the feet and not the actual screws, so just be careful uh, when you unscrew it that all the screws have been opened up. So the Nook retails for about $450 right now. You get the Core i7 with Iris graphics. It's a decent deal considering that an Ultrabook with the same uh, processor and setup probably sets you back about $1,000. <coughs> if you know any uh, Intel employees, you can get actually a much better deal. Personally, I got this one for about 350 So reach out to your friends and see if they can hook you up with an employee special. Okay, trying to take the lid off. Okay, so here it is. Everything just popped out. I guess the 2.5 inch hard drive goes in here. It's plugged into here. Uh, slots for the RAM right here seems like. Try to focus. Bring it in. Focus some more. It's using an older camera that doesn't have autofocus right now. And then uh, let's see. I guess that the RAM goes uh, in here, and then the M2 SSD. Uh, plugs in over here, so I don't know if you can see it, but there's a nice little uh, slot over here for that It says that there is headers for USB, but I don't see them here. They're supposed to be on the top Haven't quite figured out how to take the top apart Not sure what this foam thing is here for um, So this Not sure what this is, but it looks like I think this is the Wi-Fi card. So pretty interesting in here. There's some jumpers here. I'll probably have to look those up, see what those do. But pretty sweet. A little focusing. All right, let's get started. <coughs> so first, let's pop in the RAM. I have the instructions for the setup right here. Uh, looks like we just push the RAM and snap it in. It doesn't tell me which socket or which is socket A and which is socket B. It just says A and B. So uh, let's go ahead and try the bottom one. <coughs> so here's my uh, crucial 8 gig. It'll be down in the comments, the actual version that I got off of Amazon. Uh, packaging is hard to deal with. if you can see this. Let me try to zoom in. I'm still learning how to make videos. Okay. Zoom. Alright, let's see if we can snap it in. So step one is to snap it in. And then step two is to push it down. So I think it's in. Push it down. Not quite working. Alright, that feels like it's in and then okay, so I heard it go click, so I guess it's locked in. Okay, getting out the uh, M2 SSD. I have an unboxing video for this which is not very dramatic. Alright, how do we get into this? Open this up. Yeah, yeah, Amazon and their frustration free packaging. Alright. <coughs> 
Okay, so this, it looks like it'll go into here. There we go. Alright, have my hands in the way. Harder than it looks. Okay. Okay, heard it go and click. Oh, shit, there's a little screw here that I need to take out first. So let me go ahead and take that out. So, opening up my trusty screwdriver. I don't really have a mini screwdriver set, so this will have to do. I wonder if I can just slide it in. Let me try that. Oop. Maybe. No, can't do both. So let me go ahead and unscrew this. Alright, pro tip, if anybody's going to be working on this, make sure you get a really fine screwdriver. Let's try the knife. This is uh, Ghetto Engineering. Sorry, my head's in the way. Oh shit. Okay, so the screw is really tiny and it's out now. Pop in the M2 SSD. Probably help me, my hands aren't shaking. Okay. Okay. There's actually a little notch around the screw there that drives it. Through. I want to get a magnetic uh, mini screwdriver for this. I have to lay this flat. I hope you guys can still see. Here's the screw. I'm going to orient it, it face down. So I'll use this uh, magnetic screw to actually screw the actual screw in. All right. So you got to hold SSD down with one hand while you uh, put the screw in with the other. Okay, it's kind of small.
Okay, the nice thing is that since it's magnetic, I can only pull it away once the actual screw is in. That seems to be like it's in, so let me pull it away. All right, so let me tighten this up a little bit more using this not very... All right, okay, so putting the bottom on. Make sure the front arrow is aligned to the front of the nook. Uh, there's some tabs here on the side, so it seems like they all need to go in. Or no, they're on the outside. It's kind of having a little bit of trouble forcing everything in, so let's see. Something may have gotten caught. Uh, yeah, these wires for the SSD. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Not a very fun build, but it's over. So, take a few minutes to install the operating system. I got uh, Windows 10 Pro. So, if you know someone with uh, connections, yeah, I, can, I got a copy of Pro for $130, while the USB version of just Windows Home is $120. Uh, so it's a pretty good deal. Alright, everything's tied together. I'll be back in a little bit after everything's uh, installed. Alright, Internet, we're back with my uh, completely built Nook. Uh, you can see that it's uh, pretty small, uh, maybe, you know, two bars on my finger here. Uh, it's uh, easy to pick up light. One small problem is that the power cord here interferes with the uh, display link cable. So uh, this is kind of annoying and not very aesthetically pleasing. I would definitely complain about this but I don't think Intel gives a shit so anyway got this hooked up to my deck keyboard and a uh, Logitech uh, anywhere MX mouse on my standing shelf and you can see I got Windows 10 running here it automatically detected the speakers on my monitor which is uh, not something that's happened in the past with Windows which is nice. So here it is. Uh, if you know if you know what you're doing, you can completely build a nook in maybe an hour or so. Uh, a couple of tips, like I said before, make sure you have a set of mini screwdrivers, uh, something magnetic to pick up screws that might get lost, and uh, that's about it. Feel free to post any questions in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. Goodbye.